It's 2 a.m. You're tired, but your brain won't stop. You've counted sheep, scrolled your phone, even begged yourself to just close your eyes. Still awake? Here's the truth. You don't beat insomnia by trying harder. You beat it by outsmarting your brain. In this video, I'll share 10 proven steps that turned my sleepless nights into deep rest. And listen, step seven is the one everyone misses. It changed everything for me. Step one, the sanctuary rule. Your bed has two jobs and only two sleep and intimacy. That's it. No more working from bed, no more scrolling through your phone, no more eating in bed. Your brain needs to associate your bed with rest, not with stress or entertainment. Step two, the digital sunset. An hour before you want to sleep, all screens go off. Phones, tablets, laptops, TV. That blue light they emit is like a shot of espresso for your brain. It tricks your body into thinking it's still daytime and stops the production of melatonin, your natural sleep hormone. Step three, the 20 minute escape clause. This might sound crazy, but it's a core principle of cognitive behavioral therapy for insomnia. If you've been in bed for 20 minutes and you're not asleep, get out. Go to another room, keep the lights dim, and do something boring. For example, fold laundry. The moment you start feeling sleepy, go back to bed. This breaks the toxic cycle of associating your bed with the anxiety of not being able to sleep. Step four, the worry journal. Is your mind racing the second your head hits the pillow? About two hours before bed, take 10 minutes to write down everything you're stressed about. Your to-do list, your fears, your anxieties. Get it all out of your head and onto paper. You're telling your brain, I've handled this. You can rest now. Step five, the unbreakable anchor. This one is non-negotiable. Wake up at the same time every single day. Yes, even on weekends. Your body's internal clock, your circadian rhythm, thrives on consistency. Sleeping in on your day off might feel good in the moment, but it's like giving yourself jet lag every single week. Step six, the cool down. Your body temperature naturally needs to drop to initiate sleep, so help it along. Keep your bedroom cool. Experts recommend around 18 degrees Celsius or 65 degrees Fahrenheit. Taking a warm bath 90 minutes before bed can also work wonders. Step seven, the 10 hour caffeine curfew. You think you're being good by not having coffee after dinner, right? Wrong, caffeine has a half-life of about five to six hours. That means if you have a cup of coffee at 2 p.m., a quarter of that caffeine is still in your system at midnight. My rule, no caffeine of any kind, coffee, tea, soda, even dark chocolate within 10 hours of your bedtime. Try it for one week. The difference will shock you. Step eight, the sunrise switch. Think of your brain as having an on-off switch for your daily energy. That switch is activated by sunlight. In the first 30 minutes after waking up, get 10 to 15 minutes of direct sunlight, no sunglasses. This is like hitting the reset button for your body clock. It commands your brain that it's time for alertness and energy, and as a result, it will more easily command you to sleep at night. Step nine, the food boundary. Avoid large, heavy meals or sugary snacks within two to three hours of bedtime. Digestion is an active process that can raise your body temperature and keep you awake. If you're hungry, have a small, light snack like a banana or a handful of almonds. Step 10, the shutdown ritual. The brain loves patterns. For the last 30 minutes before bed, create a consistent, calming routine for yourself. For example, 10 minutes of reading a book, not on a tablet, five minutes of light stretching, and then listening to some instrumental music. Do these exact things in the same order every single night. This sends a powerful, undeniable signal to your brain that it's time to rest. This ritual acts like a bridge, carrying you from the stress of the day to the peace of the night. These steps aren't magic pills. They're habits, tiny but powerful. Start with just one tonight. So what's your step? Which one are you trying first? Drop it in the comments. And if this gave you hope, hit like, subscribe, and join me on this journey to master our minds and live fully. Until next time, sleep well, live fully.